Hey guys, I'm here with Craig, the AC service tech himself. Um, today we're going to go over the components of a 90% gas furnace. So to start off with that, if you come in a little closer here, we have the blower cabinet. And within the blower cabinet, we have the IFC board, your 24 volt transformer, you have your blower housing, and then within there, if you can really see it, is your blower motor itself. Um, up here in this upper cabinet, Craig, what do you, what do you see? Yeah, so you have your inducer motor right here, and you have a capacitor for the inducer motor because it's a permanent split capacitor motor. Then you have two pressure switches, one here that's attached to the condensate trap to make sure that it's not overfilled, and then you have a second one that's monitoring the pressure on the inducer motor housing. And then right here you have your exhaust pipe, and so that goes out to the outdoor air. And here you have your intake air for the combustion of the gas furnace. What's next? Um, other than that, Craig, we have our gas valve. Um, and then if you take a look up here, you have your hot surface igniter. And then here's your flame sensor, which proves that your unit is producing a flame. And then there's a couple safeties back there. Craig, can you see them? Yeah, so up here you have your flame rollout switch, and that's a manual reset uh, switch. And there's another one up here. It's a flame rollout switch up here as well. By the way, our power is off to this furnace as we're going around in here and kind of pointing at these objects. They are a little hard to see, and back here there is a high temperature limit switch. And so that just has a little bimetal disc in there. If it gets too hot, like the heat exchanger is overheating, then it's going to open up the electrical circuit. And so you also have, even, this is not a even though this is not a component, it's a dedicated ground wire for the flame rectification process that's right up here. And so there's just a lot of components on these gas furnaces that you really want to know how they operate and how to troubleshoot them. Guys, when you're working on these pieces of equipment, it is crucial to know all the components. So I just want to thank Craig again for having me down here to check out all of his equipment. And uh, if you're liking this content, uh, please like and subscribe because you guys are the ones who keep me going. Thanks.